in this video we are going to create a real-time plot in python using matplotlib so this is how this real-time plot is configured we are going to explain how to uh, di uh, display the legends how to set the axis and x and y axis how to write the titles for the axis and uh, how to display the value in real time we are just using a random values and in the upcoming tutorial we will implement uh, this with the arduino uh, but in this tutorial we are just uh, taking the values from a random input source so let's move to our coding uh, interface and uh, i'll explain how the code works so for example uh, first of all we import uh, the libraries required uh, matplotlib.py plot as plt and import numpy as np after that all you need to do is plt.ion and then uh, create a figure and this figure will be uh, plt.figure so this will display a figure and uh, for the axis you are just going to add a subplot and uh, you can name it uh, like this and uh, after that plt dot y limit here you will set the limits for the uh, y value so because the arduino reads uh, 10 to 10 23 so that 0 to 10 23 that's over y limit and for the x limit we are just going to take the 100 samples on the x-axis so that would be over x limit and after that we are just uh, generating a random data np.random.randint and inside that we are expecting 0 to uh, 1023 value and the size is uh, simply um 50 so and uh, that's how it should be displayed and ax dot uh, plot data so this will plot a data and ax dot set x label this is how you can set the labels for your plot and uh, uh, let's suppose we are having a time on over x axis and um, we can have uh, ax dot set y label and for the y label we can imp uh, add any label we want and uh, the next thing is ax dot set title this there you display the title real time uh, data plot and uh, you can see this is uh, the, the title that we are talking about the next thing is we can uh, set the legends as well and for that we have uh, uh, data and uh, the location uh, should be the upper right so that's how you display the legends and for the continuous real-time plotting we have a while true loop inside the while true we uh, need a new data uh, let's suppose you reading this data from some sensors or a serial port uh, from arduino or something np dot random dot rand end just like we did uh, before zero to uh 1023 and uh, we need to append uh, this data into our existing data and uh, with the new data so once we've done that we need to check if the length of uh, data is greater than 100 because we are just uh, limiting the values to 100 so we need to shift the last value and uh, how we can achieve this we can simply write the data is equal to data and uh, minus 100 column that will shift a value one by left and uh, finally uh, what we need to do is a line dot set y data with the data and uh, line dot uh, 
set x data with the np dot range len of data and that's how we set the x limit and the plt dot draw this will draw the plot and plt dot pause and this will take a pause so that's how you can run and display the values on the graph and if we uh, save this value uh, save this file and uh, let's suppose matplotlib ex02.py and uh, let's see if we face any um, errors yeah so you see we have uh, this uh, bounding box errors And uh, let's see, uh, I have uh, this one here. And if we run this, that's the code I run before. Um, we just uh, plot that iron figure, add plot, and uh, set the limits. We add this data, add the legends and anything. And yes, we just run this and it will run as expected.